Big Bro's got the mic now. Alright, uh, real quick before I get started, I just want to take a quick video of everyone uh, giving Devin Ari a, a, a round of applause. Alright, uh, now that is what I call insurance. Um, now, whether I bomb this speech or not, I just got 207 people applauding me for how great my speech was. I'll never admit it. I'll never admit it. Uh, let's hear it for Ari. She looks absolutely beautiful. Today. And, and uh, let's see here. Yeah. Ah, how about how handsome, charming, and smart the uh, best man looks tonight? <laughs> Step two, step two. All right. uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike and I am uh, Devin's older brother. Um, when Devin asked me to be a best man back in, uh, it was around spring of 2022, uh, I had two immediate thoughts. Uh, first, obviously I felt honored to be asked to be the best man. Uh, I was also pretty excited to be the part of the only five minutes that Devin Ari could not plan. Uh, my second thought, uh, I thought, well, you know, thank God, I mean, I am his only brother, and uh, I only, I already started making notes for this speech uh, the night they got engaged, so it would have been pretty awkward if I wasn't asked. Um, I met Dev back in 1990. <laughs> Yep, the 90s. Uh, there I was, I was uh, an only child at the time. Uh, I had the run of the house, I was the top dog. Uh, along came Dev. Now, three-year-old me, I wasn't really having this at the time. Um, so there were numerous attempts uh, to take him out. <laughs> Including, Pushing him off a table while strapped into his baby car seat and face planting into the ground. Yep. Uh, also, hitting him off the head with a hammer. It wasn't hard. Uh, putting bologna and other various food items on his head during dinner. And constantly stiff arming him while he was learning to walk. Uh, by the way, Ari, uh, if Devin ever has lapses in brain activity or can't walk right, full responsibility. That's my bad. Uh, but Dev powered, Dev powered through those early years of uh, brotherly love and abuse. He eventually grew up, uh, became strong enough where I thought to myself, geez, you know, I, I gotta start being nice to him because he's really starting to be able to kick my ass. <laughs> And our relationship has really grown for the better since then. Um, in all seriousness, though, Dev, uh, I'm proud to call you my brother. Uh, growing up with you from the early days of sitting in the living room, eating dinner off our Power Ranger trays, watching Nickelodeon, playing video games, even though I always cheated, playing wiffle ball and street hockey in the backyard, in the in the backyard rink and all that, even though I always cheated. Um, early mornings at each other's hockey games. Um, attending your graduation at, at UNH was another day. I was so proud of you. Um, and then more recently, you know, visiting you in Colorado, uh, road trip into Utah and Arizona. You know, just a few memories over the last 33 years that were indeed some of the best times of my life, and I'm forever grateful for all. Um, back in 2017, you stood up right where I was, right now, during my wedding. Um, you, said, think, you said that you like to think you've impacted my life in some way, and uh, you absolutely have in many ways. Uh, you also said that I have taught you to never give up in any situation, and how to step over life's challenges, no matter what you may face. And I'm here today to confirm that you've done exactly that. You built yourself an amazing life from the ground up. You've secured college degrees. You have a successful career. You surround yourself around amazing friends and family. 
all of which you would not hesitate for a second to help in need when they are in need. And you found yourself an amazing woman to have by your side for all life's adventures to come. It was clear to me from the very beginning that Ari was the one for you. It's no surprise to me that we are all here today starting the next chapter. Anyone who spends time with the two of you quickly realizes the love and affection that you have for each other, as well as your dogs, Evie and Ellie. <laughs> Which, quick public service announcement. Uh, if Devin and Ari happen to leave in the middle of the wedding, you can't find them, there's no worries, everything's fine. They've simply gone home early to be with their dogs. <laughs> cry. I remember one of Devin and Ari's first dates was actually my wedding. I give Ari a ton of credit for showing up to a wedding, knowing no one, and absolutely slaying it. It was like she'd been part of the family for years, and it's always been like that. Um, quick story, at the wedding, Dev obviously was my best man, he had to do a speech, um, and thankfully he nicked it. Because, as I found out years later while sitting around a fire pit in Colorado, Ari wanted a man who could handle business under pressure. If Deb had choked and bombed on that speech, I don't think we'd be here today. <laughs> but here we are. Good job, bro. Um, I'm proud of you for the man that you have become, and I have no doubt in my mind that you will continue to do well, and you'll be a great husband to your wife, Ari. Alright, before I wrap up, uh, it wouldn't be brotherly of me uh, to not give you three tips to a happy, loving marriage uh, that I have learned over the last six years. I don't know why my wife's rolling her eyes, but... <laughs> uh, number one, yes dear. Number two, yes dear. Deb, number three, quick learner. See, that hammer did nothing. That hammer did nothing. He's good. No offense. Jokes aside, marriage is a beautiful journey filled with both ups and downs. Remember to always communicate open and honestly, support each other's dreams, and never go to bed angry. Cherish each other's quirks, celebrate your differences because they make your love unique. And above all, always say I love you. So let's raise our glasses. May your, may your days be filled with laughter, your nights be filled with love, and your journey together be nothing short of extraordinary. To Deb and Ari, may their love continue to grow stronger with each passing day. Congratulations to both of you. We all love you. Thank you.